Hello and welcome to this basic tutorial on Photo Story 3 for Windows software. Photo Story 3 is a software that will allow you to create digital stories. It is very simple and easy to use. Now this is what the icon looks like on my desktop so I can double click it and open it up to the starter window and it will give me three options. The default will be to begin a new story and this is what we're actually going to do. So I will click the next button and this this frame here will allow us to import and arrange the pictures that we put into our digital story. So I will click the import pictures button and it has opened up to a pictures file that I had opened up previously so I can select pictures from this file or go to another file if I choose to. And I'm going to select one picture here and click OK. And notice now it appears down here. This will be our storyboard with all of our pictures that we import. And the picture will, will be viewed here in this large frame. Now I do want to import more pictures so I click the import button and I can click more than one at a time it will save me time if I do more than one at a time so I'm going to click this one then hold down the control key on my keyboard and click another one and another one so I will click this and notice that now I have my four pictures into my photo story my photo story storyboard and what I can do with this is I can change the order of the pictures. If I want this one first, I can change it just by clicking and dragging. Um, so I'm going to leave it like this. And now I notice that my first picture is highlighted. And I have an arrow that will go to the next picture. So I can look at this one in this larger frame and click from one picture to the next. Or go back to the previous picture from one to the other. Now I can also Photo Story allows me to remove black borders from my pictures so that my image will fill the screen. And so I can click the Remove Black Borders button and it will give me my screen which looks like this and shows me before and then this is what it will look like after the borders are gone. So I, I sort of like that so I'm going to say I can say yes to that one picture and look at all of the pictures separately or I can click yes to all and it will automatically remove all of the black borders from all of my pictures in my storyboard. So notice now I can click through my pictures and there are no black borders so it looks a lot nicer. Now here quickly just because this is a basic tutorial I will just point out that right here is where you can do some editing of your pictures. Uh, you can change um, add some color, work with the colors if there's something that's not quite right I can remove red eye from any any um, people if you have some people in your pictures you can do that as well so there's lots of different functions that you can use in this specific editing feature so now I'm going to go to my next window which will give me the chance to add titles to my pictures um, this one will show me my first picture here and in order to do that I will click on this and then just type this is a um, dog oops excuse me dog um, with stick okay now it's right on top of the dog so I want to move it I have these areas here that show me where I can put this text on my picture I can put it to the left in the center or align it to the right I can also put it at the top in the center or at the bottom. So I sort of like it because there's not much on the top of my picture. I'm going to put it on the top and then center it. So I sort of like that. That looks really nice and there's a good contrast between the text and the background of the picture. Now if I don't like that specific font or the size of it, if it's too large or too small, I click that that font button and I can change the font if I choose anything anything that I that I want I can change it and maybe make the font a little smaller if I want to I can change the color and maybe make it say a maroon and click OK 
and notice now it's a different font, a different size, and a different color. So I can go back at any time and change this as well. And then I just move to the next picture and I can add a title on that picture and so on. Now if for some reason I have to leave my computer and I don't want to lose what I have already done, I can click Save Project button at any time and this will allow me to save this as a Photo Story 3 project. Notice these two or projects that were saved as photo story projects. So I can click on these and I can click on this after I have saved it and it will open it up in the photo story window so I can continue to work on it. Um, but I will not do that for now. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and go to the next frame which will take us to the frame where we can narrate our pictures and customize motion for our digital story. Now, as this is a basic tutorial, all I will say about the customized motion is that this will allow you to customize any, to, to set up any transitions, any motion in between each one of these photographs, each one of these pictures, and also to change a movement of how that picture will be displayed on the screen and for how long it will be displayed on the screen. So that's in your customized motion tab. Over here is where you would add type in notes for a narration, a voice over narration. So you could type in notes to give you some idea of what you will be saying. Um, here's your mic button here that will allow you to set up a microphone to use. And you just click this button here with the red dot in the center to record and to stop and delete. If you can go ahead and do it over again if you don't like it and also preview um, so that you can see how it looks and how it sounds. So we will move on to our next screen which will allow us to add background music to our digital story. I can select music that I have in my computer on my files if I choose to. Open that and click on one and open it and put it in there. I will not do that at this point. Um, or Photo Story 3 has music already set up within the program. So I can click on any of these genres. It gives me a, I mean, several different types of music that I can put in here and styles for that as well and bands and also moods. If I want to make it a cheerful mood, then I will make it a cheerful mood. I will click cheerful or any other options that you do get. Um, I can make my tempo fast or slow and change the intensity of the music itself. And then I can play it so that I can hear it if I like it. I can keep it. Or I can change any one of these things if I think it needs to be changed. So after that I will say OK. Now notice now I have a kind of an orange bar right across the top of my storyboard. This is where my music is. If I like this music in here, I can keep it. I can preview it with the music in there. Um, I can delete the music if I decide I want to change it. So I have a, several different options here. So here we go. We can go to our next screen. It will help us to save it in whatever format we would like, depending on what where this will be going after it is created. We put a file name in there, and or we can put it in a specific file and change the setting as well depending on where this will be going. All right, so we're going to click OK and after this I can go ahead and click Next and this screen is building our story. It's putting our music in, our pictures, any kinds of transition or movement that we put in there, the time involved, and the more pictures you have in there, the longer it will take to create. But this is a relatively simple story, so it will only take a minute or so to create. And it's putting all of this together and creating our movie for us, our, our digital story in a video format. So here we have a screen that says our story's been created, created successfully. Um, it is a, a, w, a WMV file, and this is its location. Um, and its size. So you can view the story and look and see how it looks or you can move to creating another story if you want to. So 
this is your basic tutorial on just a simple digital story and creating that in Photo Story 3 for Windows software. And I hope that I see you very soon in another tutorial. Thank you.